2023 presidency, two major lies in Osibanjo's declaration, Berugi. Media scholar Farouk Berugi on Monday said the 2023 presidential ambition declared by the vice president, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, is colored with lies. Politics Nigeria reports that Berugi, a government critic, insisted that Osibanjo is a pretender. Yemi Osibanjo's underwhelming grammatically error-reading, self-sabotaging presidential declaration speech contains two barefaced lies, Berugi said via a post on his verified Facebook page. The first major lie is his claim that he has been to practically all local governments in Nigeria. The lie is too self-evident to need further elucidation from me. But the second major lie, which concerns me more than the first, is his claim that he wants a Nigeria where the man from Newe sees the man in Gaswa as his brother, where the woman in Wari sees the woman in Janligo as her sister, where the love of our nation burns alike in the hearts of boys and girls from Boko to Yenogwa, where everywhere in this land is home for everyone, where our diversities tribes and faiths unite rather than divide us. Let us examine his own record as vice president, as I've repeatedly pointed out in the past few weeks. Usibanjo is a compulsively narrow-minded, intolerant Christian fanatic who nurses a nurtures, deep-rooted Lutheran for Muslims and frankly other Christians and who sees his being in government as an opportunity to promote the supremacy of the redeemed Christian Church of God, ROCCG, which I have characterized as the ROCC Gification Project. So let's start. Although every political position he has ever occupied in life has been facilitated by Yoruba Muslims, that is Prince Bola, Ajibola, and Bola Tinubu, Every consequential position he has had an opportunity to facilitate was given to an ROCCG member. In 2015, when he was given an opportunity to nominate a minister, he presented Okechuku Ene Lema, an ROCCG pastor, who became Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment until 2019. His spokesperson, Laulu Akande, was an ROCCG pastor in New York. Like many ROCCG pastors in the USA, he relocated to Nigeria to feed fat on the presidential paradise that Usibanjo has created for his kind. I've learned that Akande's parish in New York has now closed. As vice president, Usibanjo is in charge of the economy and all the major appointments. As he has influence in government agencies under the economy have been given to ROCCG pastors. For example, when he was asked to nominate a chairman for the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS, he nominated Babatunde Fowler, an ROCCG pastor. How about the Director General of the Bureau of Public Enterprise, BPE? You guessed right, another ROCCG pastor by the name of Alex Ayola Oko. When it came to time to appoint someone to be MD and CEO of Nigeria's Bank of In Industry, BOI, Guess again who Osibanjo nominated. Yep, another ROCCG pastor by the name of Ulukayode Peter, who has turned the BOI into the ROCCG church. I've been given a dozier of the happenings there and will share them at the appropriate time. His ROCCG vacation isn't limited to government appointment. He also parlays his symbolic currency as VP into the opportunity to put ROCCG members as university vice chancellors and traditional rulers in Yoruba land. There's currently tension in Ogbomosho because Osibanjo influenced the imposition of an ROCCG pastor by the name of Afolabi Gandhi Olawi as the new Saon of Ogbomosho. Olawi is an ROCCG pastor in Maryland, USA. And Osibanjo has been accused of hatching another plot to impose an ROCCG pastor as the Akiniru of Ikiru, a historic Muslim town in Oshun State. Although I don't think there is any credibility to this accusation, 
It nonetheless resonates in Muslim Yoruba land because it fits the pattern of Usibanjo's RCCGification efforts in the region. The list of RCCG pastors Usibanjo has caused to be appointed into government is deep, long, and wide. Almost without exception, every opportunity Osibanjo has had to appoint someone to a consequential position, he has unfailingly given it to an RCCG pastor. That was precisely what he meant when, according to the Vanguard, he told apostolic Christian leaders in Lagos on November 4th, 2016, that his vice presidency is our first opportunity. That is our first shot at it. We need to maximize it and do the best we can. I think what my nomination and appointment have done is that it has opened the door for us. We can do it and we can be influential in doing it. This is not, uh, it's not strange. You know, anytime uh, anyone comes out to declare their intention or to speak about running, it comes with, it follows criticism. And Osiba and just one is no exception. Although before now, we know Osiba and Joe is one person that um, hardly gets criticism from Nigerians. They just look at him and they feel like um, the position where he is, is just that his hands are tied. He cannot really do much. That is why we're not really seeing changes um, under the All Progressive Congress-led government. You know, after uh, him declaring his uh, intentions to run for presidency, it was hit with mixed reactions. The ones um, looking at it from the angle that he betrayed his godfather. We know who <laughs> they are referring to and all of that. But right now, Perugi is a media scholar and uh, also um, a critic of um, President Mohamed Buhari's um, government. He's the one who has um, stated that um, there are two major lies in Osibanjo's declaration. One, he mentioned that uh, Osiban just stated that he's gone to virtually all of the local government. It's possible that he's gone to all of the local government, but mm, probably he's not um, um, really said it because this is the first time. Yesterday was the first time he was declaring his intentions. So maybe what Perugi is referring to that um, going around the local government, you've not really gone there to declare your intentions to run. You, you might have gone there and the office of um, uh, the vice president, which you occupy, but not really going around consulting or going around uh, uh, with this awareness that you want to run. Perugi pointed that out and also that uh, Osibanjo does not mean well for the country. You know the way he talked about ROCCG. It was all about ROCCG, ROCCG. Anyway, guys, uh, Osibanjo has declared his intentions to run. He's been greeted with mixed reactions and um, some persons are... Uh, have reacted to what Enkwerugi has just um, drawn out. But let's hear your own take. Leave us your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye.